Let's face it, some dogs would rather spend the day in the water than on land. And that's why a group of two-legged and four-legged companions came together for a day of H2O. The ninth annual Doggy Plunge is more than just splashing around. It's also a fundraiser event for Freedom Service Dogs of America. And ready to dive into the details, Blake Johnson and retired Army National Guard Black Hawk helicopter pilot Ryan Kelly, along with Nilla. Nice to have you all on the show. Thank you. Thanks nice for having here, us. Thanks. Thank you for your service. Well, I appreciate it. Yes, I'm honored that. to have you here. Blake, what types of disabilities do the dogs help veterans with? So there are a number of them um, that we see on a regular basis. Post-traumatic stress disorder is a big one. Also things like spinal cord injuries, missing yeah. limbs. It could be a balance problem from a, a brain injury. So there are a lot of disabilities that our dogs can be trained to help and to really be a game changer for our veterans. Where do you find the dogs? You know, there's a couple of places. We do a lot locally with shelters and rescues, but we occasionally pull from outlying states as well. Really? But all of our dogs have been rescued or pulled from shelters and we work to transform those into service dogs. That so it's really kind cool. of a second chance for our our clients as well as our and dogs. And the dogs. Yeah. And how long's the training and how are they trained? I would imagine it's pretty difficult or deep a little bit. It can be. They're all custom trained to meet the needs of every one of our clients. And so it's very intensive. It's a seven to 10 month process and it's upwards of $30,000. Wow. And all of that, right? It's, I mean, it's not a small investment. No. All of that is at no cost to the client at all. That's so, very, very nice. Yeah. So you went through a lot there. It's been founded in, was it 1987? Is 87. that right? Correct. Oh my goodness. And again, this is no cost to the client, but it does take a lot of money to make sure that the dogs are trained properly. If you'd like to find out more information, the number's at the bottom of the screen, 303-922-6231. And Ryan, tell me a little bit about Nilla and in what ways has Nilla enhanced your life? Well, uh, as you can see, she's got an itchy paw right now. That's okay. Hey, that listen, thing. I hear if you have an itchy hand or paw, that means money, Neil, money. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey. All right. All right. It's okay. So, um, actually, she's changed uh, my life uh, remarkably. I have a lot of nightmares and a lot of anxiety, and uh, going into crowds or um, noisy places has been a problem. And then so when Nilla is relaxed and I start to get spun up, uh, I can look at her, and if she's relaxed, then I can relax. And uh -huh. she's trained to uh, wake me up if I have a nightmare, then she'll recognize it and then arouse me in my sleep so that, I, that I'm not thrashing around or, you know, doing mm -hmm. something crazy like that. And so the, the nightmares are from the post-traumatic stress? Right. Okay, right. Yeah, understandably. So, well, she yeah. is just a sweetheart. What was the process working with Freedom Service Dogs and then just waiting for a match for, like, Nilla? Well, it was... It was uh, a long process. You apply, and then mm -hmm. if you're selected, which I was gratefully, um, they take about a year to 18 months to try to match the dog with uh, the veteran. And then once it's uh, the match is complete, then they train me basically because the dog's already trained. Right. They show me how to um, command Nilla and or the dog and and the signs that she looks signs. for. Yeah, right. So I would imagine Nilla is your best friend, and and you're probably looking pretty forward to the doggy plunge on September 10th, right? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, she'll be there with her, uh, with bells on. <laughs> That's so fun, look at what a great dog she is. Oh yes, this show biz is tiring, Nila, <laughs> I know it. The cost is $15 per dog, right? Correct, Okay, yes. so what's required for a canine to participate? Do they need vaccine shots? They do, they need to be current with their rabies shots and they need to be neutered and spayed. Okay, that's, or spade. That's not easy. And it, it's, <laughs> oh well, God. you know, that's a whole different show. I think Springer has those on. So it's not just about dogs swimming, right? There's other things as smooch service a dog booth. What? It, yes. What? So that's a little more for the people than the dogs. But okay. Cargo is our ambassador dog. Uh huh. And probably two of his favorite things are smooching, and taking pictures. And so this is an opportunity, a photo opportunity to get a picture with Cargo and to get a little Aww. pooch smooch. That is so sweet, a little I, pooch, pooch smooch. smooch. So funny. Wow, that's cute. <laughs> and this is so important for service dogs, right? To kind of let loose because 24-7 they're taking care of somebody. It's true. It's, you know, it's 
like any other dog, they need to be able to take off their little vest mm -hmm. and romp and play and be dogs because I think Ryan can attest too, when you let them play, they focus more when it's time to work. Right. Well, that's so it's true for humans sure. too. Everybody needs a break. Absolutely. And I guess life jackets are, are supplied. Life jackets, How like cute. that cute little pink one. Evidently, some of them look like <laughs> Nemo. You can pick your life jacket. They uh -huh. also, um, Outward Hounds is who's helping us. They're giving giving out water play toys, so the dogs will have some toys to play with as well. Is it true that every dog leaves with a treat? Yes, a um, paw bender from Good Times. Oh. If you've ever given your dogs these, have, has no one ever had one? Mm -mm. Dogs go crazy. I don't know what's well, in it, but they're incredible. That is so neat. Yeah, so they all leave with that. This is really important. Freedom service dogs, like we said earlier, for the veterans, it's absolutely, it costs nothing because the service dogs are there to help them in life. But to train the service dogs, that costs a lot of money, doesn't it? It's so expensive. And I think, you know, the most remarkable part that I mentioned earlier is that the clients aren't charged for that service. Mm -hmm. So everything we do is based on private donations, on fundraisers like what we're doing with the Doggy Plunge. We have a number of other ones. Um, corporate donations, it all goes back into the training and the care of these dogs to get them in the hands of people like Ryan. So you can actually help out if you'd like to make a donation or maybe you're a business that would like to help, please do. You can pick up the phone and give them a call or you can go to their website. I'll have that info for you in just a second. Ryan, I'd like to end with you. Sure. What advice would you have for people if, if someone's searching for a service dog and they're interested? The advice I would uh, give people is do it. Mm -hmm. Call Freedom Service Dogs. They're an amazing organization. Now, I have been back from Iraq for 10 years, and uh, the PTSD has not abated until I got the uh, service dog um, from Freedom Service Dogs. And uh, frankly, I was reluctant to call because mm -hmm. there's a lot of vets out there who I think are more injured and more deserving. And um, I think that's common with PTSD. Right. But if you call, uh, they'll help you and it's uh, a profound change. I'm and so happy free. for you. Yeah, it's great. I really am, I'm happy because that's horrible to go through something like that. Yeah. Again, thank you so much for your service. Yeah. Call them boys. <laughs> Call them boys. <laughs> the Doggy Plunge is Saturday, September 10th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Pirates Cove Aquatic Park. That's located in Inglewood. Each dog, 15 bucks and up on all vaccinations. Space is limited in each swim session, so be sure to register early. Go to freedomservicedogs.org or call 303-922. 6231. You can also sign up the day of the doggy plunge. Life jackets and water toys will be provided, and every dog leaves with a pop bender ice cream treat. Yay! <laughs>